Well, I know you won't say it, but I think you've changed that game, haven't you? I think coming on scoring the, the equaliser, you, you played a massive part in, in turning that game around. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Buzzing for the boys to get the win, first win in the championship, and yeah, buzzing to also get off the mark for, my, for myself. Yeah, what did the manager say? Because obviously, in the eight, I think it was 83 minutes on the clock, he, he's took Beaves off, he's, he's moved Butler across, obviously gambling to try and get something from the game. But what did he say to you? Just go on and, and, and get the ball and get it in the box? Yeah, so we're 1 0 down, and he just said, stay high, play more as a winger, even though I was coming on as a wing back, and just do what you can, get a goal, do what you can in them games. You've got to come on, just make an impact when you come on. I have by scoring a goal. And sometimes as a, as a wing back, or all a winger to be fair, when the other wingers got the ball, it's difficult to know what position to take up. So Wardy's obviously played a lot of balls in the, in the game low. Um, so I suppose from your point of view, you kind of know roughly where it's going to go. Yeah, so we've worked on it even in training, like the other fellow wing back getting in at the back post, because obviously you can get goals from, from there. And luckily it just worked, worked to, to our plan and Wardy's put in a good ball and I finished it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes there's a substitute as well. It takes you a little while to get into the game, um, particularly as someone who's, who's, who's predominantly one to deliver the balls into the box. So you've got to really make sure you, your delivery is good. Did, did you feel good as soon as you crossed the, the white line? Because it, it seemed that you didn't even shank any of them. Yeah, so the gaffer just said to me, you've got to, you've got to be quick and get into the game straight away. So I took that into account and yeah, just played with confidence and had n nothing to lose really with when we're one nil down. Just wanted to get on and win the game. And of course, when it goes to 1-1, not too much celebrating going on. You, you're running back to the centre circle. Ty's yeah. gone to get the ball. You obviously knew there was a, a little bit of time left. Did you feel at that point that you were running all over Derby? Yeah, well, I come on. You, d you don't play for a draw, do you? So I've just come on and I've scored and I've just thought in my head, we need to go and win this game. So I haven't really celebrated. I've run back to the halfway line and yeah, we from from after my goal, we dominated the game, I felt completely. One of these times when you score a goal, you'll be able to do a celebration because goal with Burton came <laughs> yeah, I know, very I know. long time as well. Um, in terms of the actual winner, because you were there as well, weren't you? Did, did yeah. you feel like the chance had gone? Yeah, I felt well. I felt like the ball was coming to me and then obviously the defender has got there in time. But then when the ball falls to Dems, you know, you know he's got that bit of magic and he's a great finish to win the game. And what was that feeling like as someone who's grown up here and, and obviously you've always wanted to play at the highest level in the championship, on the TV, last minute of the game? I mean, it, it, you put all those things together, that must have been an incredible feeling. Yeah, since, since the final whistle, I just haven't stopped smiling and I'm just buzzing, buzzing for the boys to get the three points and we, we'll kick on now.